Oh, this is exciting. Hello and welcome everybody to Gibbon Gamers Live on Twitch with me, me, Chunny of GG, and I'm bringing you Hearts of Iron 4. Uh, yes, this is what we were doing last time. Uh, we were the German Reich, uh, and we sort of we are at war with uh, all along this border here, uh, and a little bit into Germany itself. So I'm going to be positioning some troops, hopefully around here, to resist any kind of problem. It looks like Italy have actually taken some land there as well, so that's good. Um, we were pushing the Romanians away, but uh, that's no longer a thing. Uh, they have very much uh, pushed all of these lines back and pretty much back into uh, Hungary. But uh, hopefully we are going to... I'm just going to commit some uh, troops around the borders here and hopefully, hopefully, this is the big hope, I can actually free this area up again so that it's not so... Because I've got a whole load of tanks right there, and I don't want them to get destroyed. So we're going to get on with this. I actually appear to be winning some battles over here, but that's no guarantee of an actual win, uh, as I have discovered on many an occasion. Uh, and do I actually have any tanks in here? No. Oh wait, no, I don't. Did I get my tanks out then? Oh, did I actually successfully free my tanks, or is it just that they have been officially destroyed? How many tank divisions do I have? Three. And no SS Panzer divisions. Yeah, okay, so we're close them. I thought we may have done. I didn't think we were going to get them out of there successfully. Right, okay, we have successfully repelled the invasion. That's good news. Um, but they'll probably go for that again. But at the same time... Italy is not successfully repelling the invasion that's going on over there, so I really do need to get my units down. Okay, we're actually successfully pushing through up here, this is good. And now there's a, a, a defensive fight as well, they're attempting to counter-attack me here, which is quite nice, because, uh, yeah, no, no, this is going okay. Meanwhile, the defensive fights up here are going nicely. Uh, my troops have successfully made it through here, but they... I wonder if we can just push these guys back so that there's a smoother border, so there's no so, not so much risk of being surrounded. Plus I've got 25 infantry divisions up here. Wow, I didn't realise I had that many infantry divisions. Okay, so what if I send them down there to help... I'm going to send them down there to help Italy out. I don't want Italy to capitulate so the one useful people in this war. Actually, I'm going to attack these guys. And I'm going to have these guys coming from here. And these guys are going to attack. Now, hopefully, there's a bit of a pincer movement going on here, which we can surround their units. I've just seen the Spitfire getting shot down, so that's making me happy. Since the British are doing a lot of land invasions at the moment, let's just make that less likely to work out for them. There we go. That should do that. That actually means we're getting closer to the Belgrade area. That is excellent news, because that would be a major, major point for them. See, now, admittedly, I thought we were going to end up losing this on this uh, episode. But are we... that's not turning out to be the truth. Okay, oh, there's a, a defensive battle going on up here. Let's try attacking these guys again. See if we can cause them some issues. Ah, there's another group of infantry here who are actually in a defensive battle. Now, look at it. A land. In oh, they've got a land invasion going on up here, so we need to re attack. Um, ah, that's not good. Okay, so. They have. Uh, yeah, because I'm attacking from over a river, so actually. I'm not likely to win that. I think I have very... Yeah, I've pretty much 
have lost that, actually. Yeah, I think we've actually taken some land. Yes, we have. We've taken some land. Excellent. And there's a, an attack up here which is going very badly indeed. Good. For them, that was. For them. Uh, right, okay, this one's starting to work. We've got units. Somebody's, atta somebody's attacking from up here, so let's launch an attack on, of our own and see if we can push through whilst they're weak and slightly disorganised. Counter-attacks are... Oh, wait! Okay, no, no, for a minute there, I thought we were winning. <laughs> um, ah, shit, so they've actually got... Wait, my units, though, are helping in pushing that back. There it is. Oh, there's two land invasions going on. <laughs> I hate land invasions. Have they invaded my area again? No, they haven't, but they have fortified their units up there, which I can only free by invading Poland. And that's... Well, I mean... It's not a good idea at the moment because I've just got my unit spread across too many theatres of war. Okay, if, Italians, if you could help us retake Venice with for you, that would be really helpful actually. No, it would be good. It would be as if I just surrounded... If I just took a few guys out of battle here so that we could surround Venice and attack from... I'm not allowed to go there. I'm not allowed to go here apparently. Which is a retreat, which it isn't a retreat. Ah, shit, they are reinforcing this area like crazy. Ah. If we have all four of my units, then I've got a pretty good place. Ah! Aha! We successfully pushed the line back a bit. Good, right, down here. Get this attack out of the way. Uh, and these guys can attack the people defending whatever that's called. Meanwhile, I just want to take a moment. I fucking hate you, Czechoslovakia. Really hate you. Right, there we go. Now, now that I've successfully hated Czechoslovakia a bit more. Ah, the British... Uh... Oh, wait. We've actually got some success going on here? No way. No, of course not. Oh no, the British really are taking over Italy. That's not good. Oh, they're so close to capitulation. It's not. F oh, this is so not funny. Oh, I cannot have Italy capitulate because that would be the end of the war. If they if they lose, uh, we're not going to push them back up here, are we? We're going to have to just commit our units down here and retake some sort of city. We just really need to take something. We really, really need to retake... F I don't know. I actually don't know how I'm going to pull this one off. So the thing is that Italy has a lot of units in this theatre of war, when what they really need is to have them down here in this theatre of war. Okay, how many people are there? Nine divisions of the United Kingdom that are losing to us. Up here, so... And they've retaken Bologna, and they've taken... Italy's going to capitulate, isn't it? Oh, it's so close to a capitulation! No! <laughs> no! Please don't capitulate, Italy. Please don't. Okay, actually, some badly defended units here. Let's just get these units out of here. Please. No, because they're pushing out from there. Oh, this is so... No, I don't like this at all. I hate you, England. I hate my, I hate my own country. I literally hate the country that I'm from right now. You, how dare they? How dare they successfully fight the Axis powers? Did not they, do they not realise what they're doing right now is highly not what they're... Just, just, just lose England. Just do the decent thing and lose. Okay, these guys couldn't make them push through. No! Oh, Italy, you bastards! Right, that's a lot of my units. Very badly surrounded now. Okay. Can I just walk out? 
before they surround me. Oh, they have absolutely no organisation. Surely I can push through. No, I can't. Can I? That's it. Uh, I think that will be the end of the war. I cannot see how we are going to win now. Oh, no, 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 no. I've really got my units into a very, 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 very bad spot now. I can just run away. Oh, I can't. I cannot. I can't. Oh, I've, I've lost tons of men. I'm going to lose. Yeah, I said I was, thought I was going to lose the war in this episode. Uh, guess what? I was correct. I am going to lose the war in this episode. And we're actually... Oh, if we can take Bucharest, that might even be... Oh, I just need to get some of their troops. I just need to get this area of war freed up so I can... Oh! Volunteers from Spain. Thank you. I will take that gladly. I need every bit of help I can get. Yeah. Oh no, don't tell me we can actually get this thing done. Oh, this would be so joyous. If I could at the very least get Romania get that theatre of war under our control that would be great. Look at them. Oh my god, they just pulled so many units back. Oh, please. Okay, no, don't you guys do that. You guys stay down here and just attack them. Uh, actually, re attack in here. If you could. I'm not going to get that done because there's way too many of them. But if I can at the very least hold out. These guys are weak, so let's just attack them. Well, they're not weak, but they are disorganised, so... Also, my attack in here is going nicely. What other cities do they have? I think that would be... Oh, wow, I'm actually getting them closer to capitulation. Oh, I so want this to work. I so want them to give up. And I'm pretty much just fighting the British here as well, so... I need more forts, really. I just need to make sure that this area of my country is absolutely defendable. I need to make sure that I can defend this territory with ease, because if I can't, then that would be it. And also, let's just get some more forts in here. There we go. Fortress Germany, because, you know, that's what they did in the real war. Let's see if I can actually retake this area. Nope, cannot take that area. Okay, fair enough. At least their counter-attacks are going badly for them. These guys are now close to giving up on that fight. Maybe if I can attack down here. Oh, if I can take that city. If I can take Bucharest. If I can take Bucharest, that's got to be it. Oh, I so desperately need that city to give. I just so desperately need that city. Ah, good. We're starting to push these guys back. I want these people back, actually, in the city, to be honest. Because if they're back in that city, then I can... Yep, good. Oh, look, 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 look. Look, 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 look. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, Constantina, that will... Constanta, sorry, that will be it. And then that will be it for this war against the... Ah, we've got Bucharest! But they're attacking as well. Oh, God. They're attacking, and I have a new airfield to... Oh, what's happened? What happened? Um, does this mean we've lost? I don't... What's, what's going on here? Wait! Oh! Oh, 
Wait! <laughs> Wait, hang on, hang on. Uh, this war was between Hungary and the Kingdom of Romania. I think we just won! <laughs> oh, please! Please, let that be true. Okay, right. Kingdom of Romania, I need to... I need to puppet... Kingdom of Romania, and I also need to take all states of Bulgaria. Wait, can I just take all the states of that, and then just... Right, there are my demands. I don't have enough score. Okay, right, okay, okay. Okay, right, okay. right let's just... How do I... Okay, let's just... Okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. So, Kingdom of Romania. Can I take... Can I... What can I do? Take all the states. Let's not take all the states. Let's just take whatever that one is. Uh, and done. You have made demands. Remove demands if you want to leave the... Comp okay, let's just end that turn. Right, turn one. Right, okay. Turn one in progress. Okay. Um, my new turn is to take a tensure and that turn. Take Pokanova. Yep, yeah, let's do that. No, I don't think I can actually take anything more. I'm gonna say done. Okay, right, 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 right. Let's just let's for a reset here, see what's happened. So we are still at war. Um We are still at war. Okay, but we have at the very least taken Romania away and okay three military factories we now have a few of these let's just get these into producing mechanized areas three dockyards okay right um well what I need to do then ah well, this should be a lot easier to finish them off down here, actually, because what that means is it's now just Britain down here. Right, now, sadly, my stream seemed to just drop after this point. Uh, not quite sure what happened, but apparently the recording just stopped, and uh, for the little bit that there was after that, there was no sound, and uh, I'm not going to post that. However, I did continue attempting to stream for another 45 minutes after this point. Um, and that provides me with a bit of a problem, because I saved the game, which means next time you uh, join me with Hearts of Iron 4, the landscape of what's happening is going to be, well, it's going to be rather different. You see, I have just forced Romania to give up in that war, and I thought for a second there that I'd actually won the whole thing, because that was, you know, the lead conflict in this war. However, that wasn't quite correct. Uh, because what actually happened is everybody else continued fighting after that point. So what I attempted to do was clear out the rest of Romania from, you know, British occupation. That's what I tried to do. I failed at that. And uh, the reason why I failed at that is quite simple. Uh, France, who had been fighting with me up until this point, got called into the war against me. And, uh, well, to put it quite simply they overwhelmed the Spanish volunteers who were guarding my uh, western border against France and what's happened as a result of that is whilst I've been pulling my troops back from Romania the French and the British have just been walking all over northern Germany and they have pretty much taken about 70 percent of Germany right now and I have about 25 divisions left because as they were doing that, they um, surrounded and just destroyed whole pockets of my army. Um, 
So, yeah. So, uh, make no bones about it. Next time you join me for Hearts of Iron 4, we are going to watch the fall of the Fatherland. Basically, we are completely 100% screwed. But yeah, that's what that's what happened. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did enjoy this video, please remember to hit like, share, and subscribe, because that will help us out here at Gippen Gamers immensely. Um, and if you also like this video and have subscribed and done all those things, then you can find us on Facebook for news, reviews, um, all sorts of things. Fiend Days, we have Fight Fridays, we have Music Mondays, we have just done a superhero. Uh, well, I say I keep saying superhero. It's not superhero. It's just heroes and villains weekend so it wasn't just superheroes it was all kinds of heroes you know your nathan drakes your vases all these types of people as well um so that was really cool and that was that was a nice evening uh, you can also find live streams uh, recently all of us gibbons went off to plymouth to do some live lettuce reviews um in game and cex i chunny of gg attempted a gran turismo sport in vr uh, Kruger played a, sp a pirate invasion game, sort of like a space pirates game, where he was shooting, had shields, and he was he did well with those shields. Um, we also plugged Game from Plymouth um, for allowing us their hospitality and allowing us to film and and do everything that we wanted to do there. So um, yeah, that's it's great to find us on Facebook because there's so many things going on uh, that you will you will just find content for all time. Um, you know, because we have. Kruger going live with Diablo 3 uh, most days and um, you also have John Joe with a lot of his independent games like Broken Sword 5, um, Bad Dream Coma and uh, he he is the king of indie games. Uh, Darren B in HD uh, is currently embracing his weird side. Uh, he, he is out there just putting up all sorts of weird games, including a new game which may just go down in infamy uh, on Gibbon Gamers called The Troll and I. Uh, I don't I don't want to play that game. I've heard him speak about that game and I just don't want to play it. So uh, credit to um, Darren B uh, for, for, you know, enlightening us on that. Uh, Werther's, is post Werther's 90 is posting a lot of Formula 1 content as well. Um, Jack RS is about to uh, really get rolling with some Forza. He's posting up lots of news on, on that front of things. And um, Cerberus has just joined us and he is going to be uploading lots of content soon as well. Uh, it's just so much going on there on Facebook. You have to get over there. You have to get over there and check it out. Uh, and also, if you wanted, if you've enjoyed this video on YouTube but want to see the bits that you didn't see, which I cut out just to make this video shorter and uh, to time, then you can find us on Twitch TV at Gibbon Gamers because we are there. Uh, and we live stream like this. This series has been the whole thing has been live streamed. Um, and it's it's great when you when you're on live because you can you can watch and uh, interact with us as well. Uh, that's the thing. Um, I can't do that when I'm doing a PC game because my interaction my phone just won't let me interact with you guys. I don't know why, but my phone is literally incapable of supporting the Twitch app. It it's there, but it just doesn't work properly. Um, but yeah, it's it's great to find us on Twitch. You can also find us on Twitter at Gibbon underscore, underscore Gamers. And um, yeah, that just gives you updates on whatever we're doing, whether it be on Facebook or YouTube. Yeah, but it gets posted there. And uh, Instagram as well at Gibbon underscore Gamers. Um, so many ways for you to follow us, so many ways. And we are dedicated to bringing you the best content that we possibly can. So, you know, we really appreciate the support and the love. And uh, we'll show it right back to you. But um, there we go. That was it for this video. Sorry it had to end with just me sort of explaining what happened after the stream just cut off. God, I hate Czechoslovakia. Anyway, that's that's all from me. Uh, that's all from me for now. Uh, until next time and the probable end of Hearts of Iron 4 with me, Chunny, Chunny of GG. Um, that's all. And as is now customary for me, I am going to say... Bon voyage, Gibbons. Mm -hmm.